Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killing today, yeah, man. Alright, so we are at the end of a really good double money bonus event week. And we're also coming to the end of a really good discount week as well. You guys probably already know, but if you do not, CEO Crate Warehouses are 40% off. A really good discount. And now is the best time to either A, purchase a large warehouse, or maybe B, upgrade to a large warehouse. Or C, even change uh, and move your large warehouses around, which is what I'll be showing you right here. And I wanted to kind of show you what the whole process looks like, how easy it is. And right now, you can really, really save a lot of money. And uh, whatever you do spend, it won't be hardly that much at all. So for a long time, I've had my CEO crate warehouses circled around my CEO office because back in the day, we did not have a terabyte. So you had to go back to your you know, CEO office to be able to source a new set of crates. However, now we don't have to do that. So I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit and change it up and get a different warehouse. Now, let me be very clear on this. You cannot switch any warehouse that has product inside of it. As you saw right there, I've got two different warehouses that have product in them. My Darnell Bros right here, Darnell Brothers Warehouse, and my Logistics Warehouse. Those two, I do not want to change. I'm going to keep those two, and I'm showing you those right there. And as you see right here, you can see the four that I have, and the fifth one is down. If you look at the two crates, electronic goods, yeah, there we go. There is my fifth warehouse right there. It's at zero gas. So those are the five I have, and they circle around my CEO office. Now, you don't have to worry about using the CEO office anymore. So I was thinking about maybe switching one of my warehouses, even two of them, to a different location. But on this video, I'm just going to be switching out one. All right. Now, as you're looking across the map, you have a total of eight warehouses that you can choose, and you can have a max of five. All right. Now, I recommend that the Darnell Bros, Logistics, uh, the West Vinewood, I think, is the one up north. Those are really good. Zero Gas is good. All of the warehouses have good to them, and all of them have a few bad things to them as well, whether it's you know ease of access or maybe it's not that friendly to get into with a helicopter if you don't have a Mark II. Uh, you know, maybe the road configuration on how to get there is not that good. For example, the logistics, the GPS takes you around back, but the easiest way is just to go through the front, but your GPS never shows that it's weird. I've been thinking about switching out one of mine to either the Cypress warehouse or the furniture. Uh, and then you also have the, uh, what is that? The Bill Gecko one or something like that. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, I currently have the Walker and Sons warehouse and I was thinking about swapping this one out. I really don't like the ease of access. It's not very easy to get in and out of. Uh, you have to either drive through a fence or go through an awkward little turn around on a dirt road. Sometimes the uh, trucks get stuck and they flip or whatever. It's just, I don't know, it kind of annoys me. It's not the most efficient. Now, with the Mark II, it's really not that hard to get in and out of there back in the day, you know, having to use a chopper to land and, and come in there with the buzzard. It wasn't that fun. The Mark II made it a little bit more tolerable, so it's a little bit more easy. However, if you have to have the vehicles delivered back to that location, it can kind of be a bummer. Again, it's really not that bad, but I thought I wanted to kind of mix it up and switch it up a little bit. There's the Zero Gas Factory. There's really not that much wrong with that when it's okay. It is a little bit out of the way of the others. If you're trying to group them together, that's really what you want to do. If you want to keep all of them really close, the four on the right-hand side and then the Walker and Sons would be, you know, those five all grouped together. It would be very manageable. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, I just want to do this just to show you guys and to kind of mix it up for myself and I don't know, just kind of keep it fresh, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I just want to, you know, change it up. So I think I may swap out the zero gas. I don't know. I, I, but for right now and for purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it the way it is. As you see the discount to the wholesale furniture warehouse, it's only $950,000. And the good thing about doing these trade-ins is that you get money back for the ones that you trade in. So you're not ever paying the full price. And I'll show you what I actually ended up paying, which was not got every time. I swear, every time I do a video, I get a phone call. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll show you uh, what I actually spend on this. So here we are. Walker and Sons uh, Warehouse is the one I'm trading. I get 760 
thousand dollars back for this guy right here. It's not that bad. All right, bam, there we go. Swap it out. It says that you already own a warehouse. Purchasing this one will trade in your old one. The trade in will save you seven hundred sixty thousand dollars. Do you wish to continue with this purchase? You can just back out or you can accept it. All right. So once you want to accept it, go ahead and do that. Bam. I spend the money. I only end up dropping one hundred and ninety thousand dollars. That is not that bad. And that's it. You're done. It's really that easy. And a lot of people are kind of standoffish about this, about swapping it out. But don't worry. It's no big deal. Again, just make sure you don't have any product in the particular warehouse that you want to sell. It won't let you sell anyway, so you don't have to worry about accidentally making a mistake and then losing product. It'll say, you know, you've got product in this warehouse, you have to get rid of it before you sell. So just go sell it real fast and then, you know, you're fine. No big deal. But yeah, guys, don't forget, make the adjustments, make the upgrades, buy the new ones. Uh, you know, if you're on the if you've only got one large warehouse, get that second one. It dev definitely helps out. So do that for real. All right. Now's the week to do it. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel for the Ill Surreal's content in the game. Make sure you smash that like button. You guys stay dangerous. In the next one, peace out. Yeah.